All right, what's up with the YouTube fam? I'm back again with another video. So listen, man, <laughs> this is another teacher that was drunk at school. <laughs> I don't know what it is for. It ain't funny because it's a lot of things that can happen. <laughs> it's just crazy. Like, damn, you got to get that lit before you get around these kids. And I know that they can be stressful at times. But if, you, if it's like that, don't take up these jobs, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You getting lit, like lit, lit to the point where even the students noticing it. Man, them kids be paying attention like I always say, man. You think these kids ain't watching you and paying attention to what you got going on and what's happening in your actions and stuff like that, man. They mimicking everything. They sitting there really just learning everything that you do. They sitting back processing all day long, every day. You know what I'm saying? Digesting and processing. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you exemplify in front of them. But yeah, man, you know, you can't get around them and not, you know, get caught. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And people at school can understand when you are a certain way and when you are another way. You feel me? So yeah, man, just do the right thing in, in the right times. You can really get drunk right after school, like literally, if that's what you got to do. I don't advise that, and I want people to get help if you feel like you need to do that. But overall, you know, man, stay on your toes, man. You know, but that's all I got to say about that part. Let's go ahead and get into this and see what the hell she got going on with her. her little drunk self, man, you know. And um, it, it happened with another teacher, I think, in Oklahoma the other day. I did a video about that also. They need to quit getting drunk like this. It's crazy, bro. Let's get into this, though. Hey, how are you doing? Good. And we clear the room. This is uh, Jennifer Davis. Hi. Hi. Jennifer. So, Hi. We talked to Miss Davis a little bit about some reports that we received as uh, late as this morning. And so she understands and she, and she said she'd be willing to meet with you and talk to you. Okay. Uh, but we want to give you all some privacy too. So is this a suitable this is, yeah, this is place? Nice. Yeah. We'll just step out here. I'm good. How are you? That was the end of the week. <laughs> so what's going on today? They said they had reports where I was drinking at school, which has never happened. When was the last time you had anything for Uh, last night. Okay. About what time did you quit drinking? Uh, probably about 10.30. 10.30. How much did mm. you drink? Just a glass of wine, nothing major. Okay. All right. Well, would you be willing to submit to some tests? Yeah. To make sure everything's okay? Okay. All right. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to check you for HPN. Okay, this is what we call standardized field sobriety test. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, there's three of them. I'm going to pretty much focus on the first one, which is horizontal gaze and static. So I'm going to have you take your glasses off, and I'm going to have you we'll stand up when we do this one. Track I am so blind without them, I can't hardly Can you see, see something like my finger about yes, six yes, inches from yes, your face? Okay. Yes, absolutely. All right, let's try that. Wait a second. Heel to heel, toe to toe, arms straight down from the side. You say you wear glasses? I, yes. Any traumatic brain injuries? Uh, no. Growing up or anything like no. that? No. Sometimes that can affect what I'm No, I just, I can't see without the glasses. That's all I was saying. Okay. All right. Can you see that right there? Mm hmm Okay. I want you to follow this with your eyes and your eyes only. Don't move your head. You understand? Mm -hmm. Okay. Track on it. <laughs> she dropped. Oh shit. She's serious too. They know she dropped, man. Okay. Keep your head straight as you can. Okay. She can't. <laughs> Mm-mm. They getting a good video too, boy. Right in her face. Sorry. I'm oh, nervous. Uh, uh, I did. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Keep your answer. Right. Put your eyes And the bones be vibrating loud as hell. <laughs> oh yeah, she drunk, drunk. She doing yeah. all right though, pretty good. Yes. <clears throat> all right, this is what we call a portable breathalyzer machine. Okay. Yes. You, don't, you don't have to take the test. Unless okay. you're drinking that water. But this will show the presence of alcohol for the so. Okay. Uh, but this, again, would be your opportunity. If mm. teachers here, or administrators feel that they smell alcohol, this would be your opportunity to prove this. Sure. Okay. You're willing to take that test? 
Yes. I'll say no. I've been. You've been what? I haven't had anything. <laughs> okay, sure. And if that's the case, or there's nothing on board? No. Well, if people are tired of really a really good one on the night before, it can carry over into the next day. So what do I do? As far as what? You said it can carry into today. It can. Sure can. I mean, if people get on like a week long bender, or if they really tired of a good one on the night before, you know, the alcohol can still be on board. <laughs> But I can't give any legal advice to take it or not to take it. I can do is offer it to you. And it's your right to refuse. Refuse. I'll say, this is, if you're saying you're not under the influence of alcohol, this is your opportunity to prove your are Yeah, no. I mean, no, today I haven't had anything. But like I admitted to you last night, yes. But if you had one glass of wine last night and mm. you didn't have anything else after that, one glass of wine isn't going to carry over into the next No, day. I mean, I went to sleep. Okay. Right, she messed herself up right there. If they tell you that it can fall over to the next morning, you're supposed to say you didn't had damn near half a gallon. <laughs> she Because the only wine I know they're really just going to carry over to the next day is that Taylor Port. Boy, Taylor Port probably going to stay in your DNA till you die. <laughs> that shit's so damn strong. going to stain your veins, your blood, and everything. <laughs> oh, oh, man. But yeah, it's gonna stain you, man, for life. <laughs> so yeah, you gotta watch out for this shit, man. But yeah, man, she just messed herself over because they gonna basically put it like shit. Okay, if you had one one glass, shit, you gonna really pee that out in a minute, especially with you just drinking a whole bottle of water down there. It's gonna be so diluted. But if it's a strong number, you just had it. That's how they try to, you know, what I'm saying, pursue this situation or how they pursue normal situations. You know, the blood alcohol level is showing what's in there, like present, present. And if you got too much of your system. You're drunk. You know what I'm saying? So let's get back into it, though. You want to take this? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Man, the breath of is going to get you every time. Mm, mm, mm. I would just like to know who is said, like. Well, ma'am, that I don't know. I was just called. By the I know. I just. Okay, what's going to happen is when this thing tells me it's time to blow and you have to reach over with your mouth and blow into that as hard as you can until I tell you to stop. Big deep breath, blow. Hard. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Ooh. Good. Oh. Three. Is he turning it up or that bitch is going like that by itself? I think 1.5 or some shit like that is high. That's it. She drinks some more water. Yeah, you better drink it. What is this? 0.06. What's that? That's low, ain't it? You are just under the legal limit. Okay, good. So if you were to be out driving right now, you would be charged with DWI, driving while intoxicated. Under the legal limit? Just under it. The legal limit is 0 .08. Oh, shit. The, the, from the .06 to 107, you could be charged with okay. DWI. I haven't had anything to drink today. Okay, then I'm going to let Mr. Let me ask you this. Is there anybody that can come and pick you up here at school? Yes. Okay. But, I mean, I don't. Hold on. I'm under the. <clears throat> Major. Yeah, he whispering shit. Say it. I can have somebody come pick me up. Okay. See, um, uh, yeah, I didn't talk to. But I'm under the legal limit, right? So, so under the legal limit just means that you're under the legal limit. It shows that there's alcohol in your system, mm. so you are still technically intoxicated. You're just under the legal limit of 0.08. Mm. Like if you were to be out driving right now and you got pulled over and you did SFST like you just did and did a, a, a breathalyzer, you could still be charged for DWI. Not DUI, but DWI. 
Okay. Does that make sense? Kind of. Okay. Yeah. I'll get it. If I have somebody that you can pick me up. That is going to be, um, we need to see what Mr. Kenzie wants to do. And then, um, Major. So, you can space those out. It just makes me mad for somebody to say that I had stuff here. I've never. No. And, like, never, and I know it's a small town. Yeah, like Major Mallinson was saying, that we have, we're not, we're not privy to that information. We just get a call and come do it, you know what I mean? I, I, I did show over for, for years. Say that one more time. I did show over for, for uh -huh. years. I get it. Yeah. But just for somebody to be like so vicious to say like, I just don't get it. That's the right thing to do, but it's also the, the thing that will draw uh, scrutiny and criticism from everybody. Yeah. Because she's allowed to go home with someone else and not be arrested. Yeah. I, I think the, the, mm -hmm. the thing we'll have to do there, just to speak the school language here for a second with you, is just she's not going to come back. Right. She's going to give me a letter if we're going to do it that way. So yeah. I, I'm, I'm willing to, to go that way or if she's not willing to give me a letter <coughs> resignation. And that's something you'll work out between with her. But from a legal standpoint, I'm going to go ahead and make the arrest. Hmm. Yeah. All right. So you're going to arrest her and take her from here? Again, there's two ways now. You can look at view and arrest as she goes to jail, or I could cite and release on her own recognizance, provided she's got somebody that's sober to come, come and take possession of her. And so you're going to give her that option? Well, no. The decision I'm going to make before I walk back in that room. Okay. I'm comfortable with that. And for us, it's, you know, it's nothing, you know, our job is not to judge. It's just our job is to do our job. No, you know, I, so. I, I, trust me. <laughs> I was CPS. Yeah. I know. I used to tell my clients, I'm not here to judge you the way your house looks or anything, but there's right. a reason I'm here. I took some people to court yesterday that I had arrested and he said, man, I'm really appreciate you. you still treat me like a human being. Yeah. And so, no, and that means a lot. Yeah. Okay. What do you think? Uh, do you have your ID with you? And then Is it your first? Yeah. Okay. We're all the way She'll go to it's in my room in my cabinet. Is that the thing else that we would need? Just in my purse and my key. I mean, whatever I need. Okay, it's all in purse. Uh, my keys are beside my purse. Okay. Jennifer, what's your phone number? Uh,
Okay. If I had pulled you over, I can be honest with you, you'd have been arrested for driving under the influence. Okay, that's what he was explaining. Yeah. Okay. Can I have somebody pick me up? Well, I've got a legal, I've got a legal obligation. Okay. You're here. Entrusted for the care and safety of the people. Listen, for the people who Okay. No, today you're going to be arrested for public intoxication. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. I don't write the law. And, and I will resign. I well, that, that's, gonna, that, that's something you're going to discuss with the, the administration here, that I've made my decision. Okay. Uh, it's zero tolerance. Okay. I would just like to know who report. Like, and I did not drink today. Well, that's I'm going to tell you mean. from a legal standpoint, when people call in and report a crime, of any crime, we're not in the business of telling people who made the report. I, I reasons she, okay. she wants to, she want to find that boy. She so, gonna, she gonna get on the okay, air. Mm -hmm. okay. And it's gonna be a municipal charge. I'm not gonna run it through the district court. It'll be through the city to come through. Municipal charge of public intoxication. Okay. Yeah, that'll work. She lucky to get that, but they might make her get in terms of your her license your taken. She win with that too. I would like to resign. There may be a state state department of education working your certification as well. That'll be up to them in her driver's license. Did somebody somebody do this first? Yeah. Can I have a right? Yeah. No, be a rest like handcuffed out. I'm not going to run on you. Well, I know that. I know that. But it is. Not, this is the police department operates under policies and procedures, and I can't treat you any more different than anybody else. Or we're setting ourselves up for life. That's okay. fine. But now, it's I'm not going to run you down the hallways and drag you through. My child is in the third grade hall. Damn. Where, where's the classroom window at? It doesn't face up to this parking lot right here? I don't know. No. Okay. We'll be okay. Damn. That's, That's crazy. crazy. Obviously, you're in custody. We have to search our belongings. Okay. Is there anything here I need to know about? Just my medication that I take daily. Ooh. She probably that's probably why she got caught because the, the the legal limit that she's under is probably something that she could probably you know get through. <laughs> you don't say it normally, <laughs> but as far as like the medications and prescription pills and shit like that, when you mix it with that liquor, <laughs> you already know you're going to get an outcome that you're probably not really expecting or you shouldn't have around kids at all. You know, I don't want nobody up under any type of influence in front of my child. That's just me personally, even though some of us probably feel like that, well, some people probably feel like that they, are ma they can manage certain situations. When they are under the influence, you are managing and presiding over other people's children at that, at that time. So you should always be on your best shit, even though you should do it with your own children. But when it's multiple, that's when it amplifies. It should anyway, because parents gonna understand how other parents are about their kids, and they're going to make sure that they are the best representation they can be at that time. You feel me? But she tripping, and she looking to get what she's getting, because the other teacher, man, she went through hell, boy. I don't know if y'all seen that video. I'm going to put the link down there so y'all can watch it. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. Her situation was way more crazy in Oklahoma too, I think, if I'm not mistaken. I do so many videos, so I kind of forgot. But I think she was in Oklahoma. She was tripping. Let's get back into it. Jennifer, with Macy being here, I mean, is there someone we can contact? Yeah. My sister, can I, can I call her now? Can I call my sister? Please. Please. Yeah. 
You take any prescription narcotic? I take um, Zenex. Oh, 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 my God. <laughs> Now listen, I just told y'all I didn't know what type of pill she probably was on. But when you mix it with that liquor, <laughs> you don't know what kind of outcome you're going to get. And that's probably why they caught her. I'm telling you, boy, them damn Zans be hitting you hard, man. Especially by the, they just by themselves. So imagine if you're doing that with some liquor or you take a triple or a, a double stack or whatever the case may be. Yeah, man, she is tripping. She on Zans. She at school drunk. And her kid there. She tripping. She dropping the ball in so many different ways. And it's crazy, bro. But it is a prescription. So she's probably able to manage it a little bit better. But around kids and shit like that, boy. No. Nah, and Zans make you mean. Some people, they do different things to different people. You're true. Enough, but overall, the majority, they get mean. They get the tripping. They get aggravated. All type of different shit. So, yeah. She probably been writing <laughs> bad shit on them kids' folder every day. But everything I am saying in this video is allegedly. It's my thoughts and opinions. I don't know if this is to be true, but I'm just saying what I think and I feel at the time right now. It doesn't mean that it's true, but you feel me? Let's get back into it. Okay. It's is that for anxiety? Yes. Clear. Like, it's so messy that on the side is where my license is. Clear. Central one by all then. You will be picking Macy up today. Okay, well they're taking me to jail, Sam so. 082 121 670. Somebody called in and said I don't know. No. Yeah. Last time, but nothing. Am I going? Am I going to camp? Like where am I? To the safety yeah. center. It's all my safety center. To the safety center. To the long arm. Thing. Now explain to her, ma'am. What's Do your what? What's your book in? Like I said, it's a municipal charge of PI. It, it, it's a municipal It is a bondable charge. charge. So sending your book in. Seven to three. Yeah. See if he could take that burglar alarm call. Jennifer, we want if we want to go and take care of the letter here, or just one that's been drafted for you. If you prefer to write on, that's fine. Get you to sign it. Just put the date date on. I'm about to find it. Notes will have to send home to parents. And then 
news reporters will probably show up. Uh, I will be as discreet as I can in, in terms of how I handle Could it. Could we, please, I've never been in trouble in my life. I understand, it, but again, that's not, not a, I'm not going to go pushing anything out that they show up to the crowd. Okay. You did not. I'm looking right, I'm looking right now. Stupid games win stupid prizes. Judge says in the bond because you're gonna have to see a judge and he'll, and he'll set a bond. I would, I, I, yeah, I would hope that it's gonna be today, but I, I don't have any control over that. You might, you, we might be able to be all right, but that, like I said, don't take my word on that. I, I can find somebody, I know somebody that can come. Just shut the door. Okay, all right. <laughs> That's the end of that video, man. You know. And I'm going to put the news clip that I did find on her, if it is an actual news clip. I didn't check on it right now, but overall, you know, I do got a little sympathy for her, like 20%. But overall, she's an adult. She knew what she was doing. She was presiding over children. She had her child there as well. And I feel like that, you know, when you're in a school setting, you should be the best example of a parent, of an adult. You know, just the best representation that you can be in front of these children because they're going to be around you a lot of the times when they're not around their parent. And I feel like that they need role models in front of them and simplifying the correct behavior, in my opinion. But overall, that's all I got to say about the situation. I want to know what y'all feel about everything. Jen, man, watch what you're doing. If you are suffering from any type of addiction, and that goes for anybody, including Jennifer, man, work on that. Try your hardest. I know we got a lot of pride. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying we not saying that I'm not like that. Now, hey, I'm just saying just we as a whole because I try not to exclude myself from some type of correction as well. But, you know, if you're going through certain things that aren't right for you, try to find you something else that can shake these, you know, bad habits that you got. Because if you continue going the same way that you're going, you can lose everything. You feel me? Including your life as well. So you want to make sure that you're doing everything that you can do the best way that you can do it. You know? People be playing and thinking shit is a game when it really ain't. So in all actuality, you got to be on your best shit at all times. But overall, that's all I got to say. I want to know what y'all feel about everything in the comment section. If you made it to the end of this video, I really genuinely appreciate you more than you know. You know, real talk. But other than that, man, I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. If you don't rock with me, I don't give a damn about you. But to my people, I appreciate y'all. And I'll holler at y'all later on another video. All right. Hey, how are we all doing? Good. Can we clear the room? This is uh, Jennifer Davis. Hi, Hi Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. How are you doing? You too. So, Hi. We talked to Miss Davis a little bit about some reports that we've received uh, as late as this morning. Um, and so she understands and she, and she said she'd be willing to meet with you and talk to you. Okay. Uh, but we want to give you all some privacy too. So is this a suitable this is, Yeah, this is fine. Okay. Yep. We'll just step out here. How are you doing there? I'm good. How are you? Oh, almost the end of the week. Almost. <laughs> yes. So what's going on today? 
Mm -hmm. They said they had reports where I was drinking at school, no, which has never happened. Okay. When was the last time you had anything to drink? Uh, last night. Okay. About what time did you quit drinking? Uh, probably about 10.30. 10.30. How much did you drink? Just a glass of wine. Nothing major. Okay. All right. Well, would you be willing to submit to some tests? Yeah. To make sure everything's okay? Okay. All right. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to check you for HDM. Okay, this is what we call standardized field sobriety tests. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, there's three of them. I'm going to pretty much focus on the first one, which is horizontal gaze and nystagmus. I'm going to have you take your glasses off, and I'm going to have you we'll stand up when we do this. I'm going to have okay. you track my I am fingers. so blind without them. I can't hardly see. Can you see, see something like my finger about yes, six yes, inches from yes. your face? Okay. Yes, absolutely. All right, let's try that. Go ahead and stand up for me real quick if you would. Heel to heel, toe to toe, arms straight down from the side. Okay. You say you wear glasses? I d yes. Any traumatic brain injuries? Uh, no. Growing up or anything like no. that? No. Okay. Because sometimes that can affect what I'm doing. No, I just, I can't see without my glasses. That's all I was saying. Okay. All right. Can you see that right there? Mm hmm Okay. I want you to follow this right <coughs> With your eyes and your eyes only, don't move your head. You understand? Mm hmm Okay. Just track on that. Okay, try to keep your head as straight as you can, okay? Sorry, oh, I'm yeah. nervous, so... No, I get it. Keep your hands straight. Just put your eyes over here. There you go. Okay, we need to lay up this top. Okay, just follow right here. Alright, this is what we call our portable breathalyzer machine, okay? Yes. You, don't, you don't have to take the test, okay? But this will show the presence of alcohol if there's any Seven. on board, okay? Um, but this, again, would be your opportunity. If teachers here or administrators feel that they smell alcohol on you, this would be your opportunity to prove that this. Sure. Okay. You willing to take that test? Yes. Okay. I haven't... You've been what? I haven't had anything to okay. well, And if that's the case, or if there's nothing on board? No, I'm sometimes just... what you have, well, okay. if people have tied a really good one on the night before, it can carry over into the next day. So what do I do? As far as what? You said it can carry into today. It can. It sure can. I mean, if people get on like a week-long bender, or if they really tie a good one on the night before, you know, the alcohol could still be on board. Now, I can't give you any legal advice to take it or not to take it. I can do is offer it to you. And it's your right to refuse it. But again, I'll say this is... If you're saying you're not under the influence of alcohol, this is your opportunity to prove your employer. Yeah, no, you're not. I mean, no, today I haven't had anything, but like I admitted to you last night, yes. But if you had one glass of wine last night and you didn't have anything else after that, one glass of wine isn't going to carry over into the next no, day. No, I mean, I went to right. sleep. Okay, all right, so you want to take this? Sure. Okay. I would just like to know who is said, like... Well, ma'am, that I don't know. I was just called by the administration. I know, but I just... Okay, what's going to happen is when this thing tells me it's time to blow, I'm going to have you reach over with your mouth and blow into that as hard as you can until I okay. tell you to stop. Big, deep breath, blow. Hard. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Good. Good. Is that? You are just under the legal limit. So if you were to be out driving right now, you would be charged with DWI, driving while intoxicated. Under the legal limit? Just under it. The legal limit is point zero eight, which is DUI. The, it, from a point oh six to one oh seven, you can be charged with but DWI. I haven't had anything to drink today. Okay, well, I'm gonna let Mr. Let me ask you this, is there anybody that can come and pick you up here at the school? 
Yes, don't think. I'm in. I don't. Hold on just a minute. I'm under the... <clears> hey, <throat> Major. Somebody can pick me up. Okay. See, um, let him talk to... But I'm under the legal limit, right? So, so under the legal limit just means that you're under the legal limit. It shows that there's alcohol in your system, so you are still technically intoxicated. You're just under the legal limit of .08. Like, if you were to be out driving right now, and you got pulled over, and you did SFSTs like you just did, and did a, a breathalyzer, you could still be charged for DWI. Not DUI, but DWI. Okay? Does that make sense? Kinda. Okay. Yeah. If I have somebody that can come pick me up, that is going to be. Um, we need to see what Mr. Kenzie wants to do, and then um, Major Seven. You can space those out. It just makes me mad for somebody to say that I had stuff here. I've never. No, and like ever, and I know it's a small town. Yeah, like Major Mallinson was saying that we have, we're not, we're not privy to that information. We just get a call and come do it. You know what I mean? I, I, would, I did child welfare for years. Say that one more time. I did child welfare for uh -huh. years. I get it. Yeah. But just for somebody to be like so vicious to say like, I just don't get it. You know, I, that's the right thing to do, but it's also the the thing that will draw uh, scrutiny and criticism from everybody yep. in the community. Because she's allowed to go home mm -hmm. with someone else and not be arrested? Yeah. I, I think the, the, <laughs> the thing we'll have to do there, just to speak the school language here for a second with you, is just she's not going to come back. Right. She's going to give me a letter if we're going to do it that way. So okay. I, I'm, I'm willing to, to go that way, or if she's not willing to give me a letter, <coughs> resignation. And that's something you'll work out between with her. Yeah, but from yeah. a legal standpoint, I'm going to go ahead and make the arrest. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. So you're going to arrest her? And take her from here. Again, there's two ways now. You can look, view an arrest as she goes to jail, or I could cite and release on her own recognizance, provided she's got somebody that's sober to come, come and take possession of her. And so you're going to give her that option? Well, no. That's okay. the decision I'm going to make before I walk back in that room. Okay. I'm comfortable with that. And for us, it's, you know, it's nothing, you know, our job is not to judge. It's just our job is to do our job. No, you know, I, so. I, I, trust me. <laughs> I was CPS. Yeah. I know. I used to tell my clients. I'm not here to judge you the way your house looks or anything, but there's right. a reason I'm here. I took some people to court yesterday that I had arrested, and he said, man, I really appreciate you still treating me like a human being. Yeah, and so, you know, and that means a lot. Yeah. Okay. What do you say your name is? Uh, Jennifer. Jennifer. Okay, do you have your ID with you? And it's in your purse? Yes, yeah, yeah. I'm going to need to do that. Okay. Where, I'll go get She'll it. Go where's, get your, where's your purse at? It's in my room in my cabinet. Okay. Is there anything else that you would need? So I can get it in there. Just my purse and my key. I and mean, then whatever I need. Okay. It's all in your purse. Uh, my keys are beside my purse. Okay. Jennifer, what's your phone number? Jennifer, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, this is a portable breathalyzer machine. It reads a little lower than what the actual intoxilizer, which we utilize at the police department, it reads lower. This came up a point zero, uh, zero point zero six six. I have not had any. That's what I'm saying. I haven't had anything today. Okay. Well, again, and I don't know your drinking habits. Okay. I kind of explained that to you yes. before I put you on the machine. Okay. Yes. If somebody drinks a lot and if they run with a normal BAC of, say, about a point zero six or zero eight, that's what feels normal to them. Okay. When they get, start to get below that, that's when the onset of withdrawals kick in. You start getting the shakes and not feeling so good, and then you drink a little more to get feeling normal again. Sure. That BAC will still be up here. Okay, from a legal standpoint, you're still, unstuck, you're still intoxicated. Uh, I'm comfortable enough to let you know if you were to be put on the actual intoxilizer that you'd be up around 0.12, 0.13 area, okay? When, okay. I, check, when I checked your eyes for horizontal gaze and nystagmus, you had every clue. You had the onset and you had the lack of equal pursuit. You had the onset of nystagmus prior to 45 degrees, and you had nystagmus at max deviation. Okay. If I had pulled you over, I'm going to be honest with you, you'd have been arrested for driving under the influence. Okay, that's what he was explaining. Yep. Okay. Can I have somebody pick me up? Well, I've got, a, I've got a legal obligation, okay? 
you're here. Entrusted for the camera safety and the teeth. Okay. Listen, to, for the teaching of these kids, okay? I... No, today you're going to be arrested for public intoxication. Okay? <laughs> I don't write the law. And I, and I will resign. I well, that, will that's resign. Be, and that, that's something you're going to discuss with the, the administration here, that I've made my decision. Okay. Um, it's zero tolerance. Okay. I would just like to know who report. Like, and I did not drink today. Well, that's I'm going to tell I you mean. from a legal standpoint, when people call in and report a crime, of any crime, we're not in the business of telling people who made the report. I, I reasons behind that. Okay? I understand that. Okay. So, you're taking me to county? Mm -hmm. okay. And it's going to be a municipal charge. I'm not going to run it through the district court. It'll be through the city to come through. <coughs> municipal charge of public intoxication. Okay? In terms of your employment here, Jennifer, we, we can't move forward with you being a teacher here any longer. Okay. If you want to resign, that's your option. Um, if you choose not to, though, I would be forced to go to the board and ask for your termination based on the outcome of today. So, um, yeah, anytime a... I would like to raise something. There may be... Uh, the, state, the state may the Department of Education may be involved in revoking your certification as well. That will be up to them. Get her driver's license. Did somebody need somebody to report her first voice? Yeah. You got it right here. Can yeah. I her not be arrested, like, <laughs> handcuffed out, please? I'm not going to run on you. Oh, I know that. I know that. It's but it is, my... this is in the police department operates under policies and procedures, and I can't treat you any di more different than anybody else. Or we're setting ourselves up for liability. That's right. Okay. But it's now, just, I'm not going to run you down the hallways and trade you through. My child is in the third grade hall. Where, where's the classroom window at? I, it doesn't face out to this no, parking lot right here? I don't know. No? Okay. No, okay. We'll be okay. Yeah. Would your ID be in here? Yeah, I can get it. I'll get it for you. Okay. Once you're in custody, we have to search all belongings, okay? Is there anything here I need to know about? Just my medication that I take daily. Okay. Jennifer, would, your, would Maisie be in here? Is there someone we can contact for you? My sister. Can I, can I call her now? Uh, can I know? call my sister? I'll let you do that. Please. Please. Is she on the pickup list? Yeah. Uh, you, you take any prescription narcotic? I take um, Xanax. When was the last time you took that? Good. Uh, this morning. This morning? I take it and then it's prescribed on Is that for anxiety? Record. Yes. Okay. Clear. My, it's so messy, but on the side is where my license is. Clear. Central one by OLN. You will be picking Maisie up today. Okay, well they're taking me to jail. Sam zero eight two one two one six seven zero. Somebody called in and said, I don't know all. No. Yeah. Last night, but nothing. Am I going? Am I going to camp? Like where am I? Going? To the safety center. It's on one seventy seven. To the safety center. Log on. Now, explain to her, ma'am. Once, once you're booked in, like I said, it's a municipal charge of PI. Okay? It, it's a municipal it is a bondable charge. charge, so as soon as you're booked in, she can, somebody can come Seven to three. Talks. No, actually, I was <laughs> drinking this morning. That's what I'm, nobody. <clears throat> okay. Is there anybody that can come out there and get me? Anybody? Okay. Seven to three. Do you think, um, but you will be able to pick up Maisie? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, sir, I was. Bye. Which name? Burglar alarm. I was going to see if he could take that burglar alarm call. Mm -hmm. Jennifer, we want, if we want to go ahead and take care of the 
letter here. There's one that's been drafted for you if you prefer to write one. That's fine. I need to get you to sign it and just put the day's date on it if you're in agreement for that. It's the seventh. Okay. Uh, again, our, our policy and procedure state, anybody that goes into that seat again. Yeah, the wrong to do. I'm going to work with you a little bit, okay? When you remain calm, we're going to handcuff you up front. Do what? We're going to handcuff you up front, not the back. That's fine. Okay? All right. Here we go. All right, go ahead and put your hands in front of you with your thumbs facing up, please. What is my, I mean, what is my, is this going to go, like, on the news, Mr. Kinsey? Chances are it will, Jennifer. I, I don't have control over what they put on the news, but there's a good chance that once this gets reported, then uh, there will be statements we'll, we'll have to release and notes we'll have to send home to parents, and then news reporters will probably show up. Uh, I, I will be as discreet as I can in, in terms of ha how I handle Could it. Could we, please, I've never been in trouble in my life. I understand, it, but again, that's not, not up to me. I'm not going to go pushing anything out there until they show up if that happens, okay? You did not. But we, we've got to respond. And, let people know that we follow our policy and have been involved the police department. Yeah. Go for it. Is your fob, where is your fob, Jennifer? Up to the it was on my key. Okay. Did you get that out? Yeah. Okay. Is that the light right? Yes. The classroom keys are the ones that are connected to that green. Those right there? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Oh. And is that all of it for the school? Jennifer, is your, uh, yes. your school device here at school? Uh, yes, it's in the school. Okay. Okay. You'll go with this officer here? Yes. Okay, Jennifer, just follow me. We'll go to my car and take you up to the jail. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Go this way. Seven central, ten fifteen, one female. When I get to the jail, can I call somebody to come get them? They will. Oh, you okay? Yeah. <laughs> They'll, uh, it's not a comfortable seat. It's not. You should Jesus. see. You should see uh, Shawnee's. It's way worse. Jesus, I was um, not expecting that. The jail will allow you to get some numbers um, when you get there after all the bookings done and everything. And then I can go home. Um, it just depends on on what the judge says and the bond, because you're gonna have to see a judge, and okay. he'll and he'll set a bond. I For would. Initials? I, I, yeah, I would hope that it's gonna be today, but I, I don't have any control over that. They do initials that. at 11:30. You might, you, we might be able to be all right, but uh, like I said, don't take my word on yeah, that. I, I can find somebody. I know somebody that can come. Okay. All right. <laughs>